one of the biggest hurdles to any self-development, any self-awareness, any self-work, self-improvement, anything to do with the capital S self, including just the self, one of the biggest impediments is complacency, is ignorance. Like they say, ignorance is bliss. When we don't know, even in the discomfort, we are blessed in that. We are familiar with the discomfort. We are familiar with all of this, right? We wake up every day, we get ready, we go into the rigmarole, the rat race of life, we go to work, have children or not have children, have various adventures in life, looking forward to bigger houses or just houses, cars, friends, family, people, visiting places and holidays. And then what? And then what? Either you are chasing after all of this or you have got all of this, but there are other aspects of our lives that we are not quite working things out. You might be in a relationship that you've been in for as long as you can remember, right? Because it is familiar. You're in a job because it is familiar. Everything is familiar. So anytime anything new or something that is different pops up, whether it's a different type of person, whether it's a different type of, maybe a different way of making something. It is very difficult for those of us who are deeply, deeply entrenched in the familiar to want to move to uncharted territories. Now, one of the biggest things that a spiritual awakening does is it causes and amplifies change. It creates tremulous change, turmoil, havoc. That's how it feels to us because we are wired to keep ourselves safe. We are wired to sniff out anything that feels dangerous, anything that feels, ah, this is threatening my safety. The other day, my son and I were talking about a certain fairy tale, a certain story where a family inherited this beautiful home in the country. But what they found was the villagers looked at them very suspiciously. That what are these people doing here? Why are people here? And whilst they were there, they discovered that on their land was a gold mine. Right? Now, the father got very excited and says, wow, we own a gold mine. And the daughter, however knew that there was fairies that needed saving behind that. So we had a king fairy that had so much healing power that could also heal the father who was currently suffering from a terminal condition, but nobody believed them. Now everybody believed in the village that we had demons behind this cave. And so because of their fear, it kept them from ever engaging with this mine. Now, on one certain occasion when the little boy went and tried to look for something in the mine, he got stuck and there was villagers that had gathered around there and the father kept pleading, please help me save my son. Help me get my son out of that mine, right? And they just stood there. Nobody wanted to help. Nobody wanted to help, right? And this man said, look, you're just scared. You're just scared. Look, I'm sorry that something happened many, many years ago, but there is a live boy there who might lose his life because we are so scared. Eventually, 
they all helped and the boy came out and as the boy came out the boy's father collapsed on the ground because he was now dying he was passing and as this was happening all the fairies came out so all these beautiful mystical creatures came out turned into fairies and one of them came and placed his hand on the father and the father came back to life now the point of this story is sometimes what we fear the most sometimes what it is that is making us uncomfortable is what holds the answer to whatever it is that we are suffering from maybe a predicament we get so so familiar with what is familiar and we get so comfortable right anything and this is the case when we take humanity for example look at our civilization look at the history when you had different colored people right see so white brown black you know in so many different colors right and one would look at the other one and think oh, why are they like that or you go to one culture and they might eat differently to you right you have some of us that have very varied palates and some of us will not venture to try anything at all why the fear of the unknown there are so many instances in our day to day life any single change what is that all about we get so scared about change the first step into embracing the changes that come to us is to recognize that we are safe that it is just our fear of the unknown and change that is driving us into insanity or driving us into this irrational fears that some of us have these fears we are designed you see our survival instinct is to keep us safe but most of the time when we don't need it it will still kick in and a lot of the time it is there which keeps us all divided it doesn't keep us together because of the fear right we can't see if your belief is in a particular guru or a particular deity or a god or whatever way you relate to divinity you if you really are in that single pointed focus and you really totally are in that right you will see it in everyone around you you will see it in the whole of existence and creation but when you don't you will only see it in those that buy into that belief and seem to be practicing it you see it is not enough for us to go somewhere open the bible open a book read and that's it right if we cannot see the spirit behind it and that's what a spiritual awakening does a spiritual awakening takes us out of our comfort zone and this is one of the main reasons why it feels so so uncomfortable and jarring because apart from the heightened sensitivity that comes along and the part from the heightened awareness ah okay so this is the burden i've been carrying and it's time to set it down is hang on but i'm so so comfortable with the familiar though it is a burden i'm so comfortable being treated like this though it is a burden though it is a hindrance we become so 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 comfortable because that is what is familiar our brains are wired to fish out danger hold on to that and stay tuned for the second part to this lots of love